Okay, we have two main ways of looking at the brain. Uh, one is magnetic resonance imaging, or MRI. Another is magnetoencephalography, or MEG. In the first case, MRI allows us to look at the structure of the brain. Um, so we can measure how different tissue types in the brain are affected as we get older. Um, we can also measure uh, function of the brain uh, during simple tasks. This is functional MRI. So we can see how blood flow changes um, in response to a particular task change as we get older. The other technique of uh, MEG, magnetoencephalography, also allows us to look at the activity in the brain but at a much faster time scale. So we can trace out brain rhythms that occur uh, several hundred cycles per second. So next I'm going to put on these glasses. Mm -hmm. These are basically um, just going to give kind of a starting point from when I digitise your head shape. So if I start putting these on and then if you want to hold them to your face and just put them so they're comfortable, then I'll just tighten them up. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, they might be a little bit. The main uh, advantage of MEG is that we can look at um, communication between brain regions and that's vital for all these uh, cognitive functions like memory, language, emotion because if our communication between brain areas is slightly delayed or um, made more variable then our cognitive functions will suffer. So the next thing I'm going to do is digitise your head shape. Mm -hmm. Basically going to be using this electronic pen on various points in your head. Mm -hmm. So you're going to see your head shape appear on this screen there and it's basically going to tell the Meg what your head shape is. Mm -hmm. And when you come back for your MRI scan, we can overlay the two lots of images so we can look at where all the activity is coming from and kind of superimpose it on your fMRI scan. So it's really important for this bit once I start that you stay as still as you can. And just need to go down your nose and across your cheeks. Excellent, good job keeping still. You can relax now. <laughs> Okay, so one of the tasks we do is a very uh, simple task that involves pressing keys whenever you see a flash and hear a sound. And this activates the primary sensory regions in the visual cortex, the auditory cortex, and the primary motor regions in the motor cortex. And we know as people get older, the um, activity as measured by fMRI in these regions tends to decrease. Um, but what we're not sure about is whether that is a consequence of changes in the blood supply to the brain as we get older or actually changes in true neural activity. And this is what the MEG scan can tell us. It can separate out uh, what's a true change in neural activity uh, as you get older in response to this simple reflex task um, and what's a change in the um, brain's plumbing if you like. Um, so the combination of MEG and fMRI is very helpful to separate out the neural contribution from what we call the vascular contribution or the contribution of the, bla the brain's blood supply. Yeah. That's the way it looks. Way to way line. <laughs> uh, this, this just gives you um, sort of electrical activity somewhere in the helmet um, with only after extensive data analysis. So, That's why we do the MRI scan as well. So we can 